What's going on guys? Back again with the Hits Arms Laser Bullet. This is a dry fire uh, laser training uh, cartridge, I guess you could say, a laser bullet. Uh, they sent these over to show you guys. These are their Gen 3 version of their uh, rendition of their laser dry fire bullet. Uh, I showed you guys the first uh, first generation of these and quite a few things have changed about it. We're going to go over, there, over these in just a second, but I want to give you guys a good look at them, go over a lot of the features on here. If you want to get a good look at these, they do sell these in 9mm, 243, 223.556, 308.30-06, and I'll have their link down there in the description box down below with a coupon code for 10% off your purchase, and some of that purchase goes to helping our channel. So if you want to look for a way to do that, there you go. Uh, but anyway, that link down there is in the description box down below. Let's get a good look at this thing. You can see right away from their Gen 1 that I showed you guys a while back, uh, first thing you can notice is that it has a completely different finish on it, which I think is a good idea because that in no way can you mistake this for an actual live cartridge when you're going to train with a laser bullet. It also makes it a lot easier to find with your stash of firearms related stuff. So I like that they changed that. It is actually a very attractive a uh, little finish on there as well. Uh, they also, what you can see here, is they put some rubber O-rings on there. And what that does is that kind of helps that bullet in there to stabilize and sit nice and snug and not move around a lot inside of the chamber. But not so much that you need tools to get this out of your firearm. This is still a toolless process. Basically, you insert this into your chamber and you can still open up the slide or the bolt and get this out by hand by giving the rifle or the pistol a couple of taps and it will still fall out. The other nice thing that they did on here, which is one of the things I recommended, and I don't know if they took my advice with that, but they cut a little piece off of the cartridge here, which makes it a lot easier to use this in a single action firearm or striker fire or those that need the slide or action racked or operated to reset the sear. This means that you line this up with the extractor on your firearm, insert it into the chamber, and now you can work the action of your firearm without having the laser bullet get ejected onto the floor while you're trying to do your practice and your dry fire reps. So that is a very nice feature, huge upgrade there. A lot of good things come with this. Um, with this, it actually works as a makeshift bore cider, so that's kind of nice, and that's what I use it for sometimes. When I purchase a new firearm for the channel, I immediately use this thing to quickly sight in, at least in my garage, to get somewhat close and on paper. Again, this is their 223 version. I also have their 9mm version. I've been using these quite a bit, actually, just playing around with them uh, in build-up for this video. Not much in the way of the operation outside of that nice cut in there seems to be any different. Um, last time, I only showed you their 9mm, but I do have their 223, and how this works, if you haven't seen that one, is the firing pin hits this rubber piece on the back. And you can see there, if you can see that, with the rifle or the 223 version, that laser only stays on momentarily with each hit of the uh, primer, rubber primer on the back there is where the button is located. With the 9mm one, it actually stays on as long as there is an indentation on that rubber piece. So you can actually use this not only as a bore sider or laser dry fire training device, but you can play with your cat all over the place with it and it's a great time. Um, these are also great for you know, if you want to use these as a snap cap. So this is another option. This kind of knocks out quite a few birds with just one stone. You get your laser training in, you get snap cap usage out of them. This is a safe and friendly way, fun way, actually, I should add, uh, to train with your firearms. So quite a bit of usage that you can get out of just these simple little, uh, little devices here. Again, and using them as a quick makeshift bore cider is kind of a nice thing to just quickly get a uh, a, a firearm, a rifle, a pistol, sighted in before you hit the range and spend that very hard to find ammunition anymore. Uh, so again, you know, times like this, that's a huge bonus to have something like this because you still get your dry fire in and you get that immediate response to, uh, to what you're doing with that laser on, which I should roll in now, the app that they're providing, uh, your first month free with each purchase for the LASR app on your phone or computer or whatever you want to use it as. Anything that has a camera that can document laser hits on a target. I'm not going to go over this so much because you can actually use these with any laser app, but this is the one that they're actually providing you a month free to have all of the features that have on there, or you can upgrade. And uh, every month after there, thereafter is $9 a month. There's a little code on the back here, which you can type in onto your, uh, your phone there. And that's how you unlock that month free. 
So really nice to get that little bonus feature on there because that makes this way more fun than just shooting at paper targets in your, uh, in your garage. Um, I didn't use or download this app because again, I'm not really gonna talk about the app in this one, but I have used other apps before and it's actually just a lot of fun. So it's kind of nice to get all of those little bonus features out of just a simple little device that you can use uh, to help you safely dry fire or train a new shooter or anything like that and completely eliminate any hazards or you know safety issues that you would have with live fire you know training rounds or anything like or live rounds and a live live firearm I should say. So I have dropped these things quite a bit and in examining them I don't really see much of the finish uh, wearing away or anything like that. I've clumsily tried to get them out of the slide and have let go of the slide on accident and have caught the the bullet in between the slide and the chamber. So I've kind of beat these things up a little bit. Not too much, but I think it's also worth noting that they do have a two year warranty on these. So as long as you're not completely abusing them, and I'm not sure what that definition would be, but they do have, again, it's worth mentioning a two year warranty on these. These are, I have said to gone to about 3000 shots to about 5000 shots, somewhere in there. And some of their test subjects have gone to at least 10,000 shots. So you get quite a bit of lifespan with these. So that's kind of nice. So again, guys, these are the Gen 3 of the uh, Hits Arms laser bullet. I want to thank them for sending these over to show you guys, give you guys a good look at them. Again, if you want to uh, get a closer look at these on their website, I have their link down there in the description box down below with a coupon code for 10% off of your purchase. And some of that purchase goes to helping our channel. So if you're looking for a way to help our channel out, there you go. Purchase a couple of these little uh, bullets here and it helps out our channel somewhat. We appreciate you guys watching, and we will catch you guys on the next video. Train safe out there.